Hey, what's going on? Todd Shaw with another episode of the Sawdust Dude. Cool deal. Awesome. Appreciate you watching. Hey, today we're talking about checks in logs and how do you caulk a log cabin. But before we get started, let me tell you about two things real quickly. Number one is this. Check out the playlist for log cabins. Got more videos on log cabins. So you're watching this because you have questions and I got answers. So cool. Check out those videos. Number two is this. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to this YouTube channel because you know what? Brother, this thing runs on love and I need some love. So hook me up with a subscribe and oh yeah, I feel the love and we'll keep the videos coming. Now, let's talk about checks in your logs. Kind of got two terms as far as like the, how logs that they kind of, a lot of people get them uh, mixed up uh, and that's checks and chinking. Okay, chinking is, uh, You'll see a little white stripe on logs like this. See how this has here? And they'll fill that in. And it is a type of caulk. In the old days, um, it was mud. Uh, later on, it became mortar. And that's just where the logs had gaps in between them. And so you'll have chinking uh, in between there. What we're talking about are checks. Now checks in the log are these splits. And that's just a natural occurrence when a log dries out. Even though they have been kiln dry, this log still will expand and contract, but it's very important that you fill these checks up because you don't want water blowing in there, getting to your logs and then causing damage and rot. So you gotta fill those checks up and I'm gonna show you how. Stay tuned, keep watching. Hey, let me carry you through a couple scenarios here. Uh, obviously this is a cabin that Mike and I are working on and uh, we've it, it's stained and we just need to do uh, some caulking and caulk up these checks right here and I'm going to carry you through a couple of different scenarios that may apply for you uh, number one is this uh, this cabin these logs are very rough I mean you know you'll get splinters on this thing and so these flat logs like this and that's just kind of the look that they were going for and so these butt joints here we actually will caulk all this up and so the first thing that we want to do is take backer rod, uh, B-A-C-K-E-R, backer rod, and we're going to stick in those checks. And uh, it's a closed cell foam. And so in other words, it does not absorb water. And so if the caulk were to fail, that would still add another layer of protection uh, against the uh, bugs getting in there or water getting there. So let's check that out. One. Hey, Mike, I'm gonna show you a mic uh, put in, in the back of rod. Now, this is gonna do a couple different things for us. Number one, he's just kind of sticking that in there. Now, we just got a plastic shim where we just kind of work that in to that check. And so he just kind of stuffs that in there. Two things that if the caulk fails, uh, that it will, uh, it will uh, keep water from going in there. Number two, we don't use as much caulk filling in a big hole because this stuff does does run, you know, eight to $11 a tube. And you're just gonna push that in just a little bit more because if you don't push it in far enough, then, you know, a piece of it can kind of stick through the caulk and we don't want that. So that's just a good step there. like that. It's probably about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> Not really rocket science, you know, I mean, it's just sticking the foam in a hole, you know, but uh, you want to do it and uh, make sure you get it in there far enough uh, because like, like I said, you don't want it sticking through the caulk. So back a rod in the checks. Three, two, one. Now this is where I'm going to talk about several different scenarios and this is really like scenario one uh, and remember I told you earlier about these logs are kind of rough this is a real important step here because what we're going to do now we're going to tape off these checks and I'm going to show you Mike doing that in just a second and you're going to see why at the end uh, but I really recommend this frog tape yeah, it is kind of expensive but I'll tell you what it does a great job 
Um, I've used the other painter's tape and it just does not stick real well to that log. So frog tape on the checks, okay? Cool thing you want it, and you're just taping out, you know, at the top of the check and at the bottom of the check. And we're just gonna do this real, uh, this one little spot right here. And this tape that's about, at about three quarters of an inch wide, you can bend it uh, and so you kind of go along the edge and you can get it where it's just right. So there's just a real important step. This is kind of like a time, I know it looks like you're wasting time, but this saves so much time. Usually what I do, I'll go along and tape all the checks up and then Mike's coming behind me with the caulk gun. So, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, uh, a great, great project for the kids, teach them how to caulk. Um, get your husband, your wife out there, get them caulking. All right, Mike. See how sharp, crisp that line looks? That's what you're looking for. One of the things that you do not want to do is just take a grab a caulk gun, start shooting caulk in this hole, and then you try to rub that towel over there. And this stuff, these, these logs are so rough that there's no way to get a clean surface and it just picks up your towel uh, and it, you just get stuff. It just makes a mess. So do not skip that step when it comes to doing checks like this on, on logs especially rough logs like this that that using that frog tape is just such a huge time saver and it makes your job look awesome yeah hey let me show you this other thing uh, i've got just got some log siding here and say say your logs are round and i just kind of used a router and just made a little uh just kind of pretend check in there but let me show you about caulking with this now what you don't want to do, and I'm going to show you what not to do. Come a little closer, Mike. So I've got my caulk, and stick, stick around to the very end because I'm going to tell you about what kind of caulks you ought to buy. So from here, say I just, I take this caulk and I caulk it in my line like this. That looks like I'm doing pretty good. A lot of people just take their finger and do a big wipe like that and call it done. No way. Do not do that. Because what happens here, this caulk that's spread over to the side here, stain will not penetrate that. And so you'll see that once you stain out the rest of this board, it'll be like stripes on a zebra. You don't want to do that. Now you can real carefully take a damp towel and just almost like how you do grout. And you see how I did that just real lightly that I don't pull it out of the check but i just wipe over it so if your logs are smooth you can do that without taping it out but you don't want to pull so hard where you pull the uh or, or your rags too damp where you pull the, the uh the caulk out of the check so just real lightly caulk in there run your finger flat fill in the lines Take a damp towel, take your finger, and just go along the edge. If you have nice smooth logs, that you can do this. And then once that dries, you can apply your stain over the top. Yeah, that's how it's done. We we're talking about, you know, filling in the checks. These little small checks like this that are about, you know, I mean, you just get your fingernail in, 
<laughs> caulk won't stick in those. Caulk, just they, real, when it really won't stay in there, it'll just kind of push it out. Just when you're spraying your cabin, just make sure you get some good stain in there. And that's why I really recommend spraying and then back brushing. But all these other where the, the caulk between the logs, a lot of times we'll come in here and just cut this out and then just apply new in there. So the big question is what type of caulk do you use? Really, only use caulk that is recommended for the log home industry. Do not use house caulk. Do not use silicone or anything like that. You're just, you're taking a good job and making it worse. So uh, the types of caulks that I use, um, one is this uh, big stretch here. You can kind of see that big stretch. And that's all you have to know. And it does come in different, um, uh, different colors uh, indicated by the tube on the top and on this particular cabin here we use the uh, wood tone and it works out really well now if you were to fill in the checks and then spray behind it it this does accept the stain so it doesn't change the color drastically so you always want to try to get your colors real real close and so we use big stretch a lot other stains that I use and I really like products from permachink just look them up online, Permachink, and they just specialize in log home finishes. And one of the products that I use from them is Energy Seal. The thing I like about Permachink is this, they have about uh, 12 different colors of, uh, of Energy Seal. And so that you can get like super, super close as far as matching the finish of your log cabin. So Energy Seal from Permachink, uh, it stretches real well, and that's what good is good about log home cabin caulk, that uh, even though these logs are harvested, they still expand and contract with the weather. And so you want a good uh, caulk that's just got an elastic uh, ability to it, so it stretches and gives with that check. So energy seal from Permachink is really, really good. Hey, kind of a play on words, uh, another great Permachink product for your checks is Checkmate 2. Get it? Checkmate 2. Kind of like a chess and, and and log cabin work. But I don't know how to play chess. But anyway, so Checkmate 2. Now a lot of caulks uh, will come in these 11 ounce tubes like this. And it runs anywhere from 8 to $11 a tube depending on the brand and uh, depending on the qu quantity that you buy. But you know, you're going to pay around $8 uh, and up for a tube of caulk. But I'm telling you, it's well worth the money and the investment because it will last Don't hey i appreciate you watching another episode of the sawdust dude oh yeah in the beautiful blue ridge mountains and i'll see you real soon oh yeah see ya mm -hmm.